In this video, we're going to take a look at what circuits are and how we can draw them with a couple simple components. We'll also explore the terms potential difference, current, and resistance before finally seeing which way around a circuit current flows. An electrical circuit is just a closed loop that contains a power source, such as a cell, and something for the electrons to flow through, like this wire. We generally represent them with circuit diagrams, and this here is probably the simplest type of circuit you'll see. In order to draw more complex circuits, we need to know these symbols for the different components, and where to place them. There's a whole bunch of symbols that you need to know, and we'll cover them all in more detail in other videos. For now though, we'll just consider the main ones. We've already seen the symbol for a cell, which is basically just a simple version of a battery. As batteries are made up of two or more cells, their symbol is just two cell symbols put together. Although as far as exams are concerned, cells and batteries both act in the same way. Another common symbol is for the filament lamp, which is just a small light bulb. So if we added one to our circuit and turned on the battery, then it would light up. We could also add a switch, which could be closed, allowing current to continue flowing around the circuit, or open, which would disrupt our circuit, and so turn off our light. In order to explain what's going on, we need to look at some key terms, specifically potential difference, current, and resistance. Current, denoted by the letter I, is a measure of the flow of electrons around the circuit, similar to the flow of water through a pipe, and it's measured in amperes, which are often just called amps and are denoted with the letter A. Meanwhile, a potential difference, denoted by V, is the force driving this flow of electrons, and is provided by the cell or battery. You can think of this as the pump that forces the water along the pipe. Another name for potential difference is voltage, and it's measured in volts. Finally, resistance, R, is exactly what the name suggests. It's everything that resists or opposes the flow of electrons, similar to a partial blockage in our pipe example, and it's measured in ohms. The last thing we need to cover is which way around a circuit current flows. If you look at the cell on this circuit diagram, you can see that it has one longer line and one shorter line. The longer line in a cell or battery is always the positive terminal, whereas the shorter line is always a negative terminal. Now, because electrons are negatively charged, they flow around the circuit from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. However, when people first discovered electricity, they didn't know anything about this. So they decided that current flows from positive to negative, and we now keep this convention, sometimes calling it conventional current. So even though it's a bit weird, just remember that for your exams, current always flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. That's everything for today though, so hope you found it useful, and we'll see you next time.